What is going on, Pug Nation, and welcome back to another mod spotlight. If you watched the um, park video, our part two, which is our final part to that series, I said we had a really cool mod spotlight in the works, so here it is. Uh, we'll go over it. We have a log splitter, and by the way, we are at our lawn care shop. If you haven't seen those lawn care videos, head over onto the channel. Very easy to find it, very nice and labeled. Let's spread them views around. Let's make sure if you guys are subscribed, you are watching every video possible and supporting the punks. So we have the log splitter. You guys seen the tractor already. We have an F650 from 7up modding plus the trailer from 7up modding, 20 foot, 3 axle trailer. Very nice. And then we have a square body Ford from Expandables modding. And also from Expandables Modding, a Toyota Land, or Land Cruiser. So we're going to test out this uh, log splitter. So when you're in the tractor, you need to make sure that you unfold it with X and then turn on the log splitter. So pay attention to your controls anytime you get mods and just feel it out for yourself you know or watch my videos we're gonna go get some chunks I should have switched this but toss some logs over there but this is definitely a really cool log splitter you need to cut it to one meter so I use the um, posse you know cutter and on this map there is actually quite a bit. We have a forest surrounding field 2. I went all the way down to field 32 and cut this forest a little bit. You can see my equipment. Now there's plenty of forest around here. And then you definitely want to have the, uh, the heavy lift mod because then you can uh, rotate. You have more freedom than um, when we had it in 17. And then you get up close to it, and you need to find the trigger spot, and you're going to look for N, which is to split the log. Hold it. And then it auto-retracts. And then, so it just works like a normal splitter. You don't have to chuck the pieces, just keep splitting in a row. There is no... Um, requirements on what the tractor needs to have for horsepower so you could run this off of any tractor and it is under the forestry section slide through there and there you go so there is no horsepower so you can use it on any tractor you can go use it on the um, case tractor any of the tractors that have come out so you can use it on the case you can probably even use it on the Alice if you really want to Probably the size doesn't look right. So nice little log splitter. Um, hopefully these guys have something else making to actually use these split logs for. Maybe a fireplace. I don't know what they have in the works. But very simple. Uh, we'll be definitely doing some videos with it on the lawn care series. So definitely keep your eye out there. Definitely read those titles. So now we'll look at 7up modding stuff. Uh, definitely go join their page. The more members that they receive, um, this is done by Cody uh, Owens, longtime modder in the community. Of course, got my beautiful interior from the F 150. So, looks nice. Uh, we'll be definitely using this in some series you know like what we did with the uh, building the park when we need those you know bigger trucks this is what I'm gonna turn to we gotta haul more weight trailer uh, very nice like the chains the detail you got all straps as normal and now this uh, square body single cab very nice interior mirrors work 
I'm gonna go shut off that log splitter. I like the sounds. We got the mud tires on it. I think, yeah, that's a case logo, I believe. So you will definitely see uh, these three trucks and mowing series. Like I said, we use you know different trucks to keep it entertainable. And oh yeah, so this one has the service. Come out to the tailgate and press R, and there is your laptop. So let's actually see the uh, beds on this truck. There's the indicator. Don't get trapped. <laughs> Press M. Spacebar for customizations. So you have towing and stock tunes. Here's your standard wheels. Got off-road. So it just changes the tread. Got mud. Got a small rim, and then back to your standard. So then you have some decals you can throw on them. And all in is all the stuff. So we have the bull bar, the rock sliders, the high lift, and they can go all in. From bumper, you can add lights. You have the 40 inch light bar on top. And then for engines, you have a V8 turbo. Or just a regular V8. Here's what some of the decals you got the jack and the light bar. Oh, actually, yeah, there's uh, beds too. Come on, don't get trapped. Gotta put, I think there's a normal bed on this. Or isn't there? No, no, that I'm thinking of a different truck. Because they also use this bed on that old Chevy that we reviewed, I think it was like two weeks ago, I believe. So. Thank you guys so much for watching. It also does have a winch. So that's what you see here at the bottom. It tells you what vehicle you're on. And I think we can just hook up to a log. Yep, and there you go. So you can winch. You can use the uh, tow hook from Elliot stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is an awesome mod spot. I definitely joined 7up modding. If you have a Facebook account, I think by this this century everybody should have a Facebook. So very easy to get a Facebook. Just make sure you look a real profile. Uh, disclaimer: I am not going to help you guys get into that group. So if you have problems, I can give you contacts to the admin. But that is about it. So. Just like with Expandables modding, I'm banned from it too, but they do release their stuff on Mod Hub, so just be on the lookout for what they release, which is super easy. So, we'll see you guys later. Have a great rest of your day. Um, enjoy 4th of July, as always, and be safe. See you guys.